What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Goon Turn God. I'm back with another video. Now, I know y'all been seeing all this BS that's been going around No Jumper lately. You got these cosplaying thugs Brick Baby, Suspect, Sharp, Whack 100, Savvy Third. You got all these cosplaying thugs up here trying to act so hard, you know, trying to press regular citizens. Now, bro, I swear if I went to LA, and I probably should plan a trip to LA because y'all not gonna do shit, bro. I would literally just piss on y'all whole city, piss on all the rags, and y'all wouldn't do shit, bro. All y'all do is just sit on these platforms and just try to press people and just talk shit. Bro, Brick Baby, he's on dope. He's on fit and all. He can't punch anybody. He can't slap anybody. He can barely defend himself. He can barely even talk on camera. He can barely stand up. You know, dude can't do anything. Sharp can't fight anybody because the dude's out of breath. He smokes like a hundred packs of cigarettes a day. Dude can't defend himself for the life of it. And then you got Whack 100 who's like 80 years old. The dude's going to have a heart attack if he tries to swing a punch. Then you got Savvy the Third. All of these dope heads. All these dope fiends, bro. Like, that's why nobody takes LA gangs seriously, especially when it comes to the black gangs. I'm about to release another video after this, proving that LA black gangs are scared of Mexicans. They won't say anything to Hispanics, but they always try to press regular citizens, you know, whether they're white or they're black. You know, people who don't try to act hard, people who don't even put on a thug persona. This recent video with this no jumper super fan that was interviewing with Sharp and Brick Baby, like Sharp and Brick Baby, we got you sitting on the host side today, man. And all, it's not because you're a host. So let's just get that straight right okay. now, Church, OK? Gotcha. It's because we want everybody to see that new piece that you got on the cranium, man. You know what I'm saying? So we got you sitting on this side today. You know what I'm saying? So we can. Uh, Adam 69. Adam 68. <laughs> 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 We're trying to press him the whole time, trying to control the interview, like trying to regulate what was going on, talking about that, oh, you're not the host. We just wanted to show off your tattoo or whatnot. Bro, y'all y'all aren't anything. Y'all are barely even being on the show. Hopefully Adam gets done with y'all, gets you know done with this whole thug meta and uh, just gets rid of y'all whenever he makes enough content. This dude was literally telling that Joe controlling him, you know, saying, oh, like um, you're being hard, you know, was this on Pornhub, you know, was this on like some other shit? And then you just see Brick Baby and Sharp get so pressed, especially Brick Baby. You knew we was gonna go hard, don't you? Oh, uh, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Uh, I watched y'all's fucking videos. You think I didn't watch the shit before I came? He watched what video? <laughs> what video? We one video. You hard. watch one video. I said, nah, what man. video? I watched a bunch of them hoes. What video <laughs> did you watch us going hard on the on a male or a female? You never seen us go hard on Is that on Pornhub? What did you say? Bro, try not to get your ass whooped. For real. On the Don't dead homies. For real. Very I think so. Try not to get your ass whooped. I'm sick, so, because you starting to veer off, nigga. <laughs> oh, my mama, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. For real. You talking about some motherfucking porn hub. Was it on porn hub, nigga? I was just, well, I slapped bad. the shit out your stupid ass, nigga. And then this dude stands up because, of course, he's scared. He's around all these thugs right now. This dude, honestly, bro, next time, use your white privilege. You're a white man. You could easily pop these dudes and get away with it. You know, you might have Black Lives Matter and trying to have a little rally or whatnot. I know this is the state of California, but next time, just use your white privilege, bro. You'll get away with it. F wrong with you, bro. Like a nigga keep telling you, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there. Like, stop like, playing with me, bro. For real, bro. I'm sick of it, nigga. I don't know. Talk about is it on Pornhub. I'm talking about, nigga, you seen the video of us going hard. You talking about Pornhub. <laughs> I'm just talking. Nigga. <laughs> This shit is trash, bro. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. I was going to offend you, bro. Yeah. Come on, bro. You playing games, too dog. much. I'm really not, though. This by coming nigga, that's like I'm the nigga spitting on you or something or slapping you, nigga, bullshit. saying I wasn't trying to offend I'm, you, nigga. Bro, I'm not trying to offend y'all. Come on, like, bro. Straight up. Try I, not I, to get I, your ass whooped in this motherfucking game. My bad. I'm, I'm sick, sorry, so crazy, bro. No, I'm telling you, I'm not. I'm literally. Hold on, Nah, he ain't trying to fight. What you standing up for, bro? He ain't not trying to fight. He ain't trying to fight. He ain't trying to fight. Don't stand up, though, dog. I ain't with all that shit, my nigga. All that standing up shit, though. I'm cool on all that. I don't take that shit. You can sit down then, bro. You standing up. Talk about it, bro. 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 Brick Baby try to fight me, bro. Please, bro. He's on dope. He's literally on fentanyl. Dude can't do anything to you. He's not a threat whatsoever. 
Nobody takes these guys seriously whatsoever, bro. But you also had WAC 100 recently interviewing with Savvy the Third, trying to press D John, trying to press D John, who recently came out and said that he was gay. So I'm not sure if that's true or if he's just trolling. You know, like I think it's a joke. I don't even care if he's gay. I mean, like he is from California, but you know, that's another story for another time. Black 100 and Savvy Third was trying to press Day John because of a comment that he made, bro. He's a commentator. That's what he does. He commentates on hip hop. Were you not accused of not paying for a music video? Yes. My, look, my, re, my, my, my whole thing is if you f with me, fool, I f with you, bro, before that. Why would you post that? You start crashing out on my phone, yeah. But why, why would you post that, fool, if you f with me? Why would you do that? Because I'm not biased, bro. That's biased. That's you crazy. Know, if anybody That's is, not if biased, you know, fool. It's, it's, it's especially, if it, especially if it's fake. You hear me? Because if it's false, <laughs> it's really false. It's, it's, it's really not false. Biased. Let me ask you a question. It's really false. Are you feminine or just are you gay? Which one? Man, f that. I wanna, look, look, check are it out. Are you feminine or gay? Bro, listen. Nigga, please. Listen. You got all this. You got all these sex tapes on your phone, and you talking to me about my. I don't got no sex tapes on my phone. You know what I'm saying? Cause listen, listen, hold on. Are you feeming the game? You know, I'm working like no jumper, so I can see. I'm you. trying to highlight the nigga. Whack. Hold on. What, 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 hold what, on. Whack. In the comment that Day John made against Whack 100, that I guess made Whack 100 get all paranoid and snap or whatever, we all know that it's true. Wack 100 has a whole bunch of gay porn on his phone. He even tried meeting up with some people to prove that he had Nipsey Hussle's gay porn on his phone. Like this dude stores gay porn on his phone. We all know what he's about. We already know that most of these thugs in LA are gay. So Dejan wasn't releasing any type of new information that we didn't already know. Are y'all gonna get mad at these Hispanics, mad at these other groups for commentating on y'all? No. Y'all just wanna press people who y'all think are weak and who are vulnerable because y'all know that they're not gonna do nothing. See, See, this is just crazy, man. Somebody needs to teach these thugs a lesson. Sadly, y'all don't have the standing your ground law there in California, so that's probably why I would stay away, you know? Because any side of aggression, I would gladly pop y'all ass and I would have all the excuses in the world just to say, you know, I was threatened by my life. You know, look at them, they have tattoos. They're clearly thugs. They clearly gangbang, you know? Like, I was fearing my life. Yeah, suspect over here who grew up good, you know, grew up in a nice neighborhood. Dad was very successful. You got him over here trying to be a thug, trying to fight Lush, a family friend, somebody that's been in his life for a significant time, but he's getting mad at Lush for making certain comments or whatnot. Sure. Them niggas who was in the lobby uh -huh. all know my father. Oh, uh, sure. You're gonna come across niggas. There's yeah. no, oh yeah, talk crazy, what do, what do, what do, bitch ass <laughs> yeah. nigga, and then hide. Like, that's impossible. Like, that's not gonna happen. Like, yeah. you have to come see me or we're gonna run into you. Like, there's no, like, you feel me? You, yeah. you can't pull the, the the internet Trump card shit because, like, yeah. you could do that and you you, you might win for a couple days. <laughs> yeah. But when you gotta make this hosting, oh, so? you gotta make this hosting, and then my pops come to the front and they're like, oh shit, cool. Y'all come in to the back. It's just completely crazy. And, you know, like, I feel bad for Lush. Like, I think it was stupid that Lush actually went to go fight this dude because he's 40. He's damn near about to hit 50 years old. He has no business fighting these youngest whatsoever. You know, that's exactly why you got guns for it. But once again, you know, in California, sadly, they don't have the senior ground law there. The gun laws there are very strict, especially when it comes to regular citizens. You know, they'll let thugs have guns all day. You know, they'll let thugs destroy the city. That's exactly why California is in the predicament that it's in right now. They'll let these thugs destroy the city all day all day long but let a regular citizen walk up to one of these thugs and just pop their ass because they feel threatened or whatnot then it's gonna be a whole court case you're gonna have black lives matter walking down the street talking about oh why'd you shoot this dude for no somebody needs to take care of these thugs need to put them in the dirt you know where it hurts but i'm just noticing all this cosplaying behavior that's going on them jumper and adam adam 16 I know what you're doing. You're using these thugs as jesters, you know, as a form of entertainment. That's why I tune in. I find these thugs very entertaining. I don't take them seriously whatsoever. You know, I just tune in to watch the drama or whatnot. But Adam 16, please watch out because these thugs are gonna get you a lawsuit. You know, these thugs are gonna get you in trouble. They they can't afford what you can afford. They don't have the success. They don't have the drive that you have to make a platform that you have, man. You've been grinding. You've been building this platform for so long. Please just switch to politics how you were about to do, you know, interviewing these so-called white supremacists, interviewing Destiny. Switch to like the political meta. Switch to something that's not gonna get you in trouble, you know. Just leave these thugs alone. I think you got enough content out their ass. You know, just kick them back to the streets where they belong. 
But y'all let me know how y'all think about this, about all these cosplaying thugs, you know, always trying to go after average citizens. They're never trying to go after these Hispanics who are taking over their neighborhoods right now. But like I said, I'm saving that for the next video. So y'all definitely keep an eye open for that. I feel like black LA thugs are completely scared of Hispanics. They are shaking in their pants from Hispanics for some reason. You know, I don't understand it. It seems like in every other city, you know, they got their Hispanics under control. But LA, when it comes to LA, they are scared of Mexicans. They are scared of Hispanics. They are scared of these brown skinned people. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this down in the comments below. Now I'll catch y'all on the next one, all right?